All right, so after you have your image imported, we're going to create a new shape layer. We're going to drag this layer to the bottom. So under our reference picture, and then I'm just going to mask this out. Um, I was going to try to curve this. Ooh. All right. Okay. Um, I don't know why it looks like that, but we're going to restart. Tried to curve it, but it, yeah. After we do this, what we're gonna do is actually duplicate it, Control D, and then we're gonna make it 3D, and then we're gonna change the Y rotation. And we're gonna just do it like that, and then what we're gonna do is do the same thing for every other mask. So yeah, new J player, and then we are going to put that under our picture, and then I'm actually gonna change the color, so then, you know, All right, so once you finish that, what we're gonna do is actually delete that reference. We don't need it anymore. And then I tried to like do a sword, but it's low key like ugly. We're gonna make a new null object and then we're gonna change the color of that too. We're gonna make that 3D, make it 3D. Then we're gonna select all of our things and then we're gonna link it. And then I'm gonna just like kind of move this around. So yeah, just like that. Once you do that, we're going to keyframe everything. So we're gonna select our last, like, basically you're gonna select the like first two, I guess. Yeah. And then we're gonna try to, we're gonna kind of rotate them like that. So yeah, then we're gonna make a keyframe stopwatch. And then we are going to go to the beginning. And we're gonna rotate it upwards. Well, scale it actually. Stopwatch guys, stopwatch. And then what we're gonna do is, yeah, we can see it's keyframed and then we're gonna select all of them. And then what we're gonna do is easy ease them. And then we're gonna click our graph and then we're gonna kind of do a graph like this. Make sure you like select the points like that. And then we're gonna do a speed graph. So yeah. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the other keyframes and we're just Yay, so fun. All right, so I think that's pretty good. Um, yeah. And then I'm, I just moved over the keyframes just a little bit so then it doesn't move too fast, you know. It looks very complicated, guys, but it's it's not that bad. And then I also did use transparency graphs. So press T on your keyboard, and then that brings up opacity, not transparency, opacity. I used the no layer to also graph the scale. So yeah, then we get this. Now it's time for text. So this logo was actually for someone. I did not make this on my own. It's a paid logo, so yeah uh uh i spelled it wrong but yeah after that i pre-composed all my shape layers and then the no object and then i kind of keyframed the scale and stuff same thing with the speed graph um yeah and guys i'm low-key like not even like voicing this over while making it i'm kind of doing like a voiceover after making it so sorry if it's a little confusing but i'm never doing this again bro after that i did position the graph and yeah i did it like this so yeah i low-key didn't use the value graph at all i just used speed graph because i was lazy didn't want to change it and then i did add a warp out so just keyframe the bend go towards the end and then change it to negative you know whatever 
then we're going to easy ease these after selecting them f9 or whatever and then turn on motion blur and then you're going to do a graph out i did change it to value graph for this one so yeah if you're wondering how to change it from value to speed that's how you do it and then just do a graph like that and then boom all right and then for this part i low-key didn't like it like coming in like after the things went up so i moved everything over just a little bit and then i extended the thing the shape layer and then after that i added panning boom uh, settings are like that and then i added deep glow the best plugin in the world and then after that i decided to add some one frame glitches because yeah it was a little plain but I mean, the one frame glitches didn't do much, but I just added RGB warp and then I added turbulent displace, vertical displacement, and then I kind of messed around with the settings. Oh, I selected horizontal. And then I kind of just did something like that. And then I added deep glow over it and then I had deep glow in that. And then, yeah, I added directional blur to give it more blurriness. And then basically that's the end of the logo. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this week's video. I'm so sorry if this tutorial was a little bit confusing and I low-key haven't posted in a month, but I think I'm back. School's a little busy, but I hope you enjoyed this week's video. I love you and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe. Bye.